When I got out of high school, I felt that it was important to master a trade. I was a union carpenter for a long time, and unfortunately, there's, uh, there's points where there's layoffs. I got tired of that, and I figured I wanted to start something for myself. We started a business, did one thing, did it better than anybody else. From that point forward, I've never had to look for work. Work's always found me. Why do I like working with my hands? Boy, oh boy, let me... Those are broad questions. When you're cutting the wood and you get the fresh air and the smell of the pine and you smell the sawdust, you know. I don't know, it's in my blood. It's enjoyable. I'm a working owner. I don't sit at home and leave it to somebody else. I'm there every day addressing problems. If you say it can't be done, I'll figure a way to do it. Cut these rafters, each one go down, okay? As a kid, my grandfather had a house in Tennessee. I used to watch him work. He was in his 70s and he'd be out there with an ax, chopping roots, ripping out bushes. I really always admired his hard work. And the reason I started this business is because I love doing the work. As a kid, did I think I was going to be in the towing business? No. <laughs> sit. Sadie, sit. Good girl. Oh, good girl. 17 years ago, my husband dropped out of a heart attack. Come on. Let's go by Dad's truck. Come on. I talked to my employees and said, let's move forward. We just took one day at a time, and now 17 years later and 18 trucks later, we're doing good. Yeah, I mean, you always have to show positivity even if you're having a hard time yourself. So I was diagnosed with leukemia in 2008 and uh, was given three months to live. I was running my business out of a hospital while on chemotherapy. Without my guys, my business is nothing. And having a crew of guys who have been with me for more than 10 years, I would have died trying to keep things going. It's just my nature. I can promise you with the hard work, it's worth it. It's a good feeling to know that you're needed and wanted and cut. <laughs> <laughs> the sun comes up and you got the rafters and this whole house is glowing. It's just a stack of lumber and turn it into this big old house. Somebody's gonna live there for years and years until after you're gone. Nobody ever thinks that they're gonna be down a different path, and my path definitely changed. I'm very grateful for the people around me. It's crazy to think that we've been in business almost 25 years, and I still feel like a kid knocking on doors, pushing a lawnmower. I love it, I love being able to work for myself. I'm willing to put in the extra hours to have a business of my own.